Hello and welcome to this Getting Started with Rapid Miner tutorial. In this tutorial, we take a quick look at our user interface. We'll talk about the operators, the repository, the process panel, the views, and the global search. We'll see the functionality of ports, parameters, and of course, we'll have a quick look at where to find help. But first, let's start with the different views. Once we open Rapid Miner Studio, we end up in the design view. Next to it, there's the results view. Both views can be described as work areas, which are equipped and optimized to carry out specific tasks as you undertake data prep, modeling, validation, and operationalization of your analytics processes. Next to the default views, you can find the option to start Rapid Miner Auto Turbo Prep and Rapid Miner Auto Model. Both are great to accelerate everything you want to do when building real data science solutions, no matter if you're just starting or if you're already an experienced data scientist. In the center of the design view, you can see the important process panel which is used to design any process, for example, data loading, outlier detection, or forecasting. Processes are comprised of a set of connected operators, which can be understood as the building blocks. By default, the Operators panel is open and placed in the bottom left. You can see the different areas in the Operators panel called Data Access, Blending, Cleansing, Modeling, and so on. Each of them has a rich set of operators. To get started with a very simple process, we need to place an operator into the process panel. To do that, let's extend one of our operator folders, in our case, data access. Now we can select the retrieve operator and drag and drop into the process panel. In case you don't know in which folder to find the operator you want or which operator to use, you can just type the name in the search field. We select our retrieve operator by clicking to apply further settings. You can see that the parameters panel on the top right has changed and we can now use the folder icon to select the file which we want to load. We will select the Titanic data set, which is preloaded in Rapid Miner Studio. In order to run our very simple process, we only need to connect the ports, indicated here by a small half circle with the word out, to our results port on the right. For a list of all the port abbreviations, we recommend you visit docs.rapidminer.com where you'll find them in the Getting Started glossary under Ports. Now back to our simple process. When we select the Run button, Rapid Miner executes the process and automatically displays the results view. Here our dataset is displayed by default as a table. As you can see, we have 1,309 examples and 12 regular attributes. Attributes is in Rapid Miner the general term for a column. Examples refers to the rows of our table. There are also further options displayed to analyze our data set quickly, such as statistics, where you can, for example, see the number of missing values, or visualizations or annotations. But we will come back to those in a later tutorial. So let's go back to our design view and talk briefly about adjusting the layout of our views. If we want to resize the area of a panel, such as the process panel, we can do that by clicking and dragging the boundaries between panels. In case we want to relocate a panel, we can do that by simply grabbing the panel tab and drag and drop it into a different location. You'll see a shadow appearing which indicates where our panel will be placed once we release it. If you see a blue arrow on the tab, this indicates that the panel will be popped out and will be available as a free-floating window. In case you accidentally closed one of your panels, you can bring it back by opening the View menu, Show Panel, and then we select the panel which you closed. Finally, you only need to reposition it to the location where you want to use it. If you want to return it to the default view, you can simply select Restore Default View from the View menu. In the top left of our default Design view, we find the Repository panel, through which you can access data and your Rapid Miner processes. Have a look around to see the different features available. We recommend as a practice that wherever you start a new project, that you create a new repository with two subfolders one called Data and one called Processes. This way you can keep those important elements separate in your latest repository. To create a new repository, click on the drop-down menu and select the entry Create Repository. You can create your folders in the same manner. If you want to find a certain process that you stored in a folder or a repository, then you can use the Global Search. As you can guess from the name Global Search, and as you can see from the drop-down here, it does allow you to search for other things as well. I'll just type data as an example, and you can see that besides all the processes with the term data, also downloadable extensions, operators for drag and drop, and even actions are made available. In the lower right of the default view, you can see the Help panel. Each operator has its own Help section, and often you can find tutorial processes in that section 
to help you better understand each operator. For example, if you want to look at the tutorial process for our operator Retrieve, you just need to select the operator and then select the link in the Help panel. If we click the link, the tutorial process will open and we can test the tutorial process by selecting the Run option. As before, the loaded table will be displayed in the results view. Let's now return to our design view. This concludes our brief introduction to the user interface of RapidMiner Studio. Thank you for watching.